Hi you guys, I'm just uh, trying out this new camera and I bought myself uh, a new processor, an 8 core job. Let's have a look, it's an FX, it upside down, black edition. Let's have a look at what it is, it's uh, trying to get a spec. Oh, so it's 4 gigahertz max turbo. Uh, 3.2 gigahertz, and it's an 8 core. It's a, an FX 8320E. 4 gigahertz, oh my, that's quite a lot actually. And so 8 threads. Okay, so what we have to do is get this thing off. How do we do that? I can't remember. I think you have to unplug it. Unplug the two fans and get at the screws. There's two two CPU fans on this thing. So right, that's that done. I'm gonna have to take the fans off. It's big I'm thinking really seriously thinking about water cooling. But an all-in-one cooler I don't want I'm not interested in um I just leave that to one side. I'm not interested in building my own loop. I, I say I'm not interested, I am interested but I leave my computer on and I go out sometimes and I, I just, I'm not a seasoned, I've never built a loop before so I would never trust myself, you know what I mean? Um, I would struggle to trust myself. I need quite a long screwdriver for these, for this Cooler Master. That's really dusty though, I have to blow that out while I've got it off. It's really dusty. But the screwdriver just goes down there. And I'll put some new paste on it. It's just a case of taking these four screws out. The ones I want to go for, I want to go for PWM. Well, that's it, that's the cooler off. I want to go for PWM. Right, I have to get some stuff to clean all this compound off. And the fan's got a little bit of dust in it. Let's get this thing out. Let me get that out. I think you have to kind of, ah, that's it. Kind of fold up, it's like scissors. See, I don't know if you can see the dust in there. Yeah, it's quite a bit of dust in there, isn't there? Yeah, you can see it. I'll clean that out. And I've got to clean all that old paste off. So I'll do that. Uh, I'll be back in a second. I'm just going to go down and get uh, kitchen tiles. The best stuff. It's better than. It's much better than. Ooh, yuck. Better than what you would call it. Toilet paper. I can just go to the bathroom and get some toilet paper. But kitchen towel is far better. Back in a second. I'll just stop this video and start. Now that's me back again. I've got some kitchen towel. I'm just going to clean up this processor, just get the worst of it off and I'll clean up with some you know, alcohol. This is a new camera, this is a JBC, I'll give you the, the model number. See if I can find it, it's, um, I think it's 1080 HD. We'll soon find out when I render the video, see what kind of quality it's like. And the volume, the audio is so important to me. And that's why I got rid of my last camera. Actually, I gave it away because... See, that's... Got the worst of it off and I'll clean it up with some alcohol. Pull that out and I must blow... I've got a blower. I'll show you that in a second. I'm just going to get the... I just get the model of this uh, camera. Uh, it's the HD Ever Ever Rio GZ HM three hundred and one. It's quite good. Um, I don't. Know, I've got a four gigabyte card in it just now. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but we'll soon see. I've got some. I've got two cards on eBay. I think this is them. Got two cards, I think a 16 gig card, so I can be able to record for quite a while. I don't know how long the battery lasts, but you can get bigger batteries for these things, can't you? Right, 
There we go, two 16 gig cards. Uh, Ultra Plus 48 megabits per se megabytes per second. And they're refurbished, but that'll do me. I'm not bothered. Got two of them. Great, yeah. Anyway, let's get this old. This that CPU is cleaned up, the old one. And they have to be really careful with AMD CPUs, they're just so delicate. I'll put these fans out of the way. I want to put that old one into this case straight away. So I'll get this one out. Which is the best way to get them out. Because all the pins. Get that sticker out as well, will I? I'll do that later on. All the pins are on the CPU. This is an 8 core CPU. All the pins are there. I mean, it's pretty a mad design, really. You know, once it when it's not in the computer, it's very vulnerable. Um, I get this little sticker. Where's the sticker? Was on the outside. It's on the outside. I like little stickers, actually. <laughs> they don't make the computer go faster, but I like them. Get this old CPU out. Just put the lever up. And which way was this round? I think it was face side down, wasn't it? Like so, yeah it was. And I'm going to put this thing up for sale. There we go. That's the quad core one. It's an FX as well. I think it's a 43 or something. 43 something. Can't see it properly. Um, 4300. I'll pop this new one in. I've got to find the arrow. The arrow's up there. Just line up the arrow. I'm so excited about getting this. Pop that in. Oh, I need to clean this CPU. It's perfect. That's in perfectly. Put the lever down, that's it. And then put some paste on it. First thing I'm going to do before I put the paste on is clean that. So I just get a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol sort of stuff. This is my thermal compound department and that's the little stuff I've got uh, APC pure whatever that is mm. anyway I'm going to clean get a bit of this paper and I'm just going to clean it I just put a little dot on you don't need much and just clean it with the paper. The other one's absolutely it's brand spanking new, it'll be factory clean. Mind there is a little fingerprint on it, I might give it a clean. See how much came off that with the alcohol. I'm gonna give the new CPU a little clean. Just in case, because there is a tiny little smudge on it where it's been touched. Just put a drop on it, that's all it needs. And then just give it a wipe with a clean bit. Make sure it's lovely and clean. And let all the it'll dry pretty quick. Because uh, it's flammable this stuff. Yeah, it's bone dry already. Those two, those two bits. Holy, what's the matter with you? That's my wee dog I'm looking after. Right, thermal compound, everybody has their own way of doing it. I put a blob in the middle, like so, and then I spread it around with a little one of these things. It's a artist's uh, palette knife. It's a great thing. It's quite awkward with the, the CPU in the case. Uh, the motherboard in the case, but oh well. I ain't taking the motherboard out. If I get the liquid cooler, I'll have to because this is a Antec 900 case, and it doesn't have a back slot for the for the coolers. So I just spread it around with this until it covers the whole CPU. Um, there we go, it's just about all covered. 
Yeah, that's fine. The rest of it will just bleed out with it with the heat. And I'll just give this a little wipe. Put the cooler back on, put the fans back on, start the PC up, see what it's like. That cooler was going to get a clean, wasn't it? Oh my goodness, it needs it as well. Is there a quick way of doing it? No, there isn't. Hmm. I will be back shortly. That's it all fitted back together. Um, I didn't blow the fan out, I'm going to do it later on. It's six and two threes really, I'm just making sure those fans are on okay. And it's tight as well on. I just, just noticed you can get a screwdriver right down there. So you might not need to take the fans off. I don't know if it locates the screws okay, yeah it does. You just got to make sure they're tight, but not go mental with them. You know, they're tight, they're not going anywhere. So I'm going to put the side panels back on and stop this vid. I don't quite know how to um, measure the performance, but if there's any difference. But anyway, I'll get back to you with just a little recap um, on this process, show you the, the, the specs of it. Hi again guys, I've got that um, CPU installed okay. I'm not 100% sure how to um, to test it. Um, I've got this little program here that I uh, found from a guy called uh, Brytech, uh, Brian at Brytech. His channel is Brytech09. I'll just get up a browser. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, where are we? YouTube. There's my channel there. This guy, where is he? Oh, I don't see him anywhere. I just had him a minute ago. Maybe there's more. Oh, there's more. There he is, Brightech. He does great videos, he's done loads of them. Uh, he's actually very, very good with the computers, so he's worth checking out. Brightech09 is the name of his channel. Okay. Now, the only thing he, 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 I noticed with this thing, and one of his, um, sorry, I'll start again, one of his uh, videos was talking about Ultimate Windows Tweaker 4 uh, for Windows 10. But it says that there's a an assessment you can run to see, you know, like how Windows 7 used to have an assessment. So I thought I'd just run it. See what happens. Ah, right, guys, that's the assessment finished. I believe the that uh, command window went away, and it's just back at 7.5 Windows Experience Experience Index. So I think it went up to 7.9, didn't it? But I just wanted to see what the processor was. So let's have a look at what all this is, um, um, stressing of the, the, the CPU, but I might find a benchmarking piece of software and run that. Hi right, again guys, I see I found this uh, this was a pass mark I think it's called. Right, it's running it now. So I ran that test quickly on the CPU and you can see there that I'm actually, people have um, submitted their, their CPUs and the Intels are coming up very nicely, i7s especially, but I've actually beaten one i7, um, I've beaten another 8 core there, um, so I'm actually third in the queue, there's an i7-5820K, 3.3 gigahertz. And uh, mine isn't overclocked yet, or it hasn't been turboed yet, so it's not bad actually. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if I turbo it, what happens. I will just do that and I'll get right back to you. So I'll run that test again, and I'm probably, um, it's actually a bit better off. It's um, I'm actually 
I went up to 3.7 gigahertz and I'm overall third. The i7s have beat me, um, the 3.3 and the 2.6. Um, but that's not bad third, and I reckon I could get it higher, the performance a bit better. Um, because he's that one that's in second place is eight th he's eight thousand three hundred and three. That's his score. Mine's is eight thousand sixty three, and the the big boy is twelve thousand eight hundred sixty eight. I'm not going to get near that. Like, but I put up to three point seven, and the turbo goes up to four point two. I'm not sure how to get the turbo working, but I will find out. But it's made a big difference to this PC. It's a lot more responsive. I'd like to see what it's like. When I run my uh, Photoshop, it'd be nice doing the even the video rendering. I'd like to see what that's like. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out, guys. Thanks.